watching this video on YouTube. Talking about uh, cattle. And, and Shad used the famous line. What was the line he told you? He said, don't Josh me. No, don't. Uh, I'm just joshing you. That, that just tells you <laughs> where he lives. He lives in Georgia. Just joshing. And uh, we want to kind of find anyway. out what's going on. So, Shad, thank you for making it time to yell that again. You're welcome. Thank you. So, what what happened from uh, you going out there and giving your message? And just assume some of the people that are watching this haven't heard you. Uh, uh, so, um, what happened? So, give us an update on what's going on in your world. Well, the reason I did the video this was... This guy looks like an American uh, we citizen. We were out in the field and we got a, an email alert. And this email we got was from the United States Department of Agriculture. And uh, yep. in that email it said uh, they would be um, forming a group of people to come out and help with uh, help producers move their animals that uh -oh. were able to move to a marketing system, help. an alternative marketing system. And I told myself right then, I'm like, well, there's not many alternative marketing systems right now, thanks to COVID. And then it went on to say these um, uh, groups of individuals uh, comprised of state veterinarians and other state officials would... Uh, Millions of farm animals cold. ...the depopulation and disposal of Whoa. said animals, didn't say cattle, but said animals, if the need arose. So it kind of uh, set me off, and I, I'm like... Uh, I don't like the sound of this. It made me mad. I had just remembered. Yeah, that would make me mad too. Imported, uh, some cat or some beef from uh, Africa, and uh, uh, I knew what the supply chain in other industries was doing. I mean, we had seen what what they were plowing up crops across. The plowing country, up crops. Milk, chickens, and hogs, and uh, this I believed this. Uh, email I don't know, man. Us for that I don't know what's going on. With cattle. My dad had told me about the 1930s and 